Most good video games will have a hero we can get behind and a villain we want to defeat. While it can be difficult to write a good villain in a game, certain creators will go an extra mile to ensure that the antagonist of their game is disturbing, creepy, and memorable. So that's what we're going to be having a look at today. So here are the five most disturbing video game characters of all time. Number 1. Fallout New Vegas is often considered to be one of the most well-written games of all time in terms of dialogue and character interaction. While there are countless settlements, communities, and factions that your character can interact with, easily the most sinister and evil group is Caesar's Legion, a faction in the Mojave Wasteland that is led by Caesar, a brutal dictator who leads through fear more than anything else. The Legion obtained to seek power by any means necessary. This includes pillaging communities, executing their enemies, and even killing their own men to set an example for how cutthroat this faction is. While Caesar is a disturbing character, he rarely commits these atrocities himself. Instead, he delegates that responsibility to his higher-ups. One of these highly ranked legionnaires is Vulpus Inculta, who is usually the first member of the legion you will meet when playing this game. As the courier is walking through the destroyed town of Nipton, you will be greeted by him, and he will tell you why this happened. Where to begin? That they are weak and we are strong? This much was known already, but the depths of their moral sickness, their dissolution, Nipton serves as the perfect object lesson. Nipton was a wicked place, debased and corrupt. It served all comers, so long as they paid. Profligate troops, powder gangers, men of the Legion, such as myself. The people here didn't care. It was a town of whores. For a pittance, the town agreed to lead those it had sheltered into a trap. Only when I sprang it did they realize they were caught inside it too. Yes, and herded them to the center of town. I told them their sins, the foremost being disloyalty. I told them that when legionaries are disloyal, some are punished, the others made to watch. And I announced the lottery. Each clutched his ticket, hoping it would set him free. Each did nothing, even when loved ones were dragged away to be killed. It is a strong and disturbing first impression of the Legion, and it's actually one of the few times that your character will have a full conversation with Vulpus. But he is very present throughout the game. Later, we learn of his other conquests, the countless towns and villages that he's destroyed, and the enemies that he's killed. He is easily one of the best representations of what Caesar's legion embodies, and his cold, sinister delivery makes him all the more disturbing. As you may know, Fallout has a karma system to dictate how good or evil a character is, and Vulpus Inculta is one of only five in-game characters to have the very evil karma rating and he is the only member of the Legion to have it, meaning even Caesar himself has a higher rating than Vulpus, which is a true testament to how evil he really is. Number 2 Outlast is one of the most successful indie horror games ever created. It was released in 2013 and centers around Miles Upshur, a journalist who goes to Mount Massive Asylum to investigate the area. It's very quickly evident that this is not a normal establishment. The patients are homicidal and have been used for experiments. One of the men who conducts these experiments is Richard Traeger, a surgeon of sorts who Miles unfortunately meets early on in the game. Traeger taunts Miles and eventually cuts off two of his fingers. He is a very disturbing character for a number of reasons, the obvious being his appearance and actions in the game, but also because he actually possesses some level of intelligence. Unlike most of the antagonists in the game who can barely string together a sentence, Traeger calmly articulates his insanity and this makes being around him even more uncomfortable. His backstory is also disturbing. He was never a surgeon to begin with, but he had a fascination with the practice. A string of events led him to being admitted in the asylum where he was experimented on. He eventually thrived in the asylum because of his intellect, and now he operates on anybody he can get his hands on. Outlast has a lot of creepy characters, but Richard Traeger is definitely one that stands out. Number 3 the Final Fantasy series is no stranger to disturbing or creepy villains. Whether it be Seymour from Final Fantasy X, Ultimisa from VIII, or one of the most well-known video game antagonists of all time, Sephiroth from Final Fantasy VII. However, none of these characters quite compare to the main villain of Final Fantasy VI, Kefka. 
Originally, Kafka is only seen to the player as a secondary villain, as he is the court mage to Emperor Gestal, and while he is a person of note and has some power, his ambition to become the most powerful person in the world is almost laughable considering his current status. However, slowly but surely, Kefka proves that he is no laughing matter. In one of the more disturbing scenes in the game, he poisons an entire kingdom that opposes the Emperor, and throughout the game, he carelessly wipes out entire villages and communities. On multiple occasions, he has his own men killed in experiments, or if they disobey him. Eventually, he kills the Emperor he's supposed to be serving, and starts a new dystopian world where he is considered God. Kefka's actions have no political undertones. Instead, they come from a nihilistic view of the world. He treats people like they are meaningless, whether they serve him or not. While Kefka himself has very little character development, he gets more and more powerful as the game progresses, and through this, we see how truly evil he is as a character. While he does not have the same global recognition that Sephiroth has, he is still one of the most notorious villains in gaming history, and to many, he is the most disturbing villain in the Final Fantasy franchise. Number 4 The original Manhunt game was a disturbing experience for the people who played it, and it's still to this day one of the darkest games that Rockstar has ever produced. The game centers around James Earl Cash, a death row prisoner who the media believes has been executed when in reality, he's been captured by a person known only as the Director. The Director promises Cash his freedom if he does what he says. These tasks mainly include fighting various different gangs around the city while he is being recorded. Now, there are plenty of characters and gangs in this game that could easily make this list, including Ramirez, a vicious gang leader, or Pigsy, a middleman of sorts who uses a pig's head as a mask and has clearly lost all sense of self. However, it is the director himself who I've decided to include on this list, as he orchestrates this entire event and plays a number of disturbing psychological games with Cash, including killing his family and showing him the event on a TV. The director turns out to be Lionel Starkweather, a former film producer who is attempting to create a terrifying real movie with Cash as the star. Throughout the game, we can see the director has no compassion for anybody in the film and will throw life away carelessly as if they don't matter. His apathetic and cold approach to life, as well as his sinister sounding voice, make him a terrifying character. Even though we don't see him for most of the game, and even though he isn't committing these crimes, he is the sole reason they are happening, and that makes him the most disturbing character in Manhunt. Number 5 Resident Evil 7 was one of the most successful games of 2017, and for good reason. It was considered one of the scariest survival horror games of the decade, and to make the experience even more terrifying, it supported VR which only enhanced the horror element. You play as Ethan Winters, a man who is searching for his wife in what seems to be an abandoned plantation. However, we quickly learn that this area is not abandoned and is actually occupied by the Bakers, a cannibal family who, for obvious reasons, don't take too kindly to Ethan visiting. During the numerous cutscenes with this family, we see how disturbing they are. 
One of the most disturbing moments in the game is the first dinner scene with the family where the father, Jack Baker, attempts to feed you human remains. It is an eerie production to say the least, and after you escape, Jack chases you through the house while pursuing you. He simply walks calmly towards your character and breaks through walls to get to you faster. As the father of this family and the strongest member of it, he takes the spot in this list. What's interesting about Jack and his family is that there's more than meets the eye with their characters. While playing the game, you will find out why they are like this and it makes the story a lot more compelling. Regardless, Jack and the rest of his characters are terrifying and make for some great antagonists in the game. And that is it for this video, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to hit that like button. I'll leave a link down below to some of the footage I used and the music that was featured in this video. I make a creepy list like this every week, so if you want to subscribe for that, you can. But like I said, that's all for now. As always, until next time.